and welcome to what is a Grand Tour mini special. It's all based around here in this rather troubled part of the world. You've got Syria and Iraq and Iran sort of at the bottom and then at the top you've got Russia. But in between you have this sliver of peace and prosperity and that got us thinking. You see, if you live on the shores of the Black Sea and you're partial to a bit of fish, uh, you're fine. But what if you like bream? <laughs> See, bream likes fresh water and the Black Sea is salty. Nearest fresh water is all the way over here in the Caspian. And that is a thousand kilometres away. Yeah, so we were wondering if you have to drive all that way for your supper, what would be the best car? <laughs> Obviously, mm. you'd need some sort of GT, but which one? The new Aston Martin DBS, the new Bentley Continental GT, or the newer BMW A Series? Now, this is exactly the sort of question this show was designed to answer. <laughs> so, this week, we took the Grand Tour to Batumi in the former Soviet state of Georgia. The meeting point was on the shores of the Black Sea, and naturally enough, James May was the last to arrive in the new BMW 8 Series. God, it doesn't look anything like as good in the flesh as it does in the pictures. It, it is disappointing in the metal. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the case. And brown! What? Brown! It's sunburst orange. Mate, that's a brown car. It's sunburst orange, it's not brown. It's brown! It's Orange. And it looks very like a Toyota. Is no, it, it on delivery wheels? Are they specially for delivering it? What are you talking no, about? There's little cast... wheels that they yeah, can move yeah, it around on. I mean. Oh, you've got oh, the new Bentley that's the, the same Bentley. as the old Bentley. Uh, apart from being a completely new car. Yeah, but it looks the same. It doesn't look the same. It's a completely different front end, different size. Oh, no, it looks like an Aventador. Back. No. It's a completely new... That's horrible. Oh, that's quite vivid, isn't it? I mean, I, worryingly for you, I quite, I quite like that. It, you Ooh. like that, exactly. So, this is, um, it's a DB11. No, well, no, it's the DBS. Superleggera. Because it's very light, isn't it? Is it? That's what Superleggera means, yeah? It's 72 kilograms lighter than a DB11. And what? no more expensive. Well, it's a bit more expensive. How much more expensive? It's £67,000 more yes. than DB11. And right. how much is it? A lot. Is it something like a quarter of a million pounds? No! What is it then? A bit less. 230? A bit less. 225? Yes. Mine's £100,000. It's contemporary and it's modern. There's no good saying, oh, it looks Japanese, as if that's a slur. The no, Japanese advanced no, the car massively bit, in the last century. Eventually, we decided to stop arguing and drive from here on the Black Sea right through Georgia and Azerbaijan to the Caspian for a nice piece of grilled brie. The question I really want to answer on this journey is this. How can the DBS be worth £67,000 more than the DB11 when, from where I'm sitting, they appear to be exactly the same? At first, you're forced to say, well, it isn't. This interior simply isn't good enough in a £225,000 car, just not even close. You look at the Bentley and you go, that is an interior. It's chintzy, but it's fabulous. However, as we left the city, the DBS's true colours started to shine through. 